this truck is going to see some use in the next week because it is going to do all the lifting for putting those trusses in place. We'll see if we can get enough reach out of it. It'll be on the edge, but it's going to be really nice. Leg Arms used it and it was beautiful for putting his trusses in place. So yeah, it's going to be great. Another tool on the farm that sure makes building houses a little easier. Here they come. Right there. Trusses. Next phase of the project. Let's get them unloaded. See if he'll make it. It's a little muddy. Oh, no. Okay, all right, we gotta get a tractor. I'll tell them. This one ought to work. Front wheel assist, rear lockers. We should be able to get them moving with this thing. If not, <laughs> I guess move up to the next tractor. And uh, three point lift. Bucket, lift. Slow, very slow. And let's go. Digger Derek's in place, get that over there and pick that up. And then get that piece off, and then the rest, we gotta figure out how to slide the axle forward and he can dump the whole load on the ground here. So, it had some trouble, but this axle slid forward. That takes it, so now this whole frame of this trailer can tilt back. He's gonna dump this whole load of trusses right here on the road. We decided better to put them on the road because it was so muddy in the field, he could get the axle slide back, so. All right, here we go. He's lowering this end down. Oh, I should say he's raising that end up. That's what's going on here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So now I think he's just gonna get the truck drive forward, lay him down. <laughs> That's a lot of lumber. Oh, I don't wanna know the price tag of this stuff. Haven't seen the bill yet for these things. Whew. They're gonna be sweet. I know what that is. That's master bedroom right there. This dining room, special dining room. You guys will see soon enough, soon enough. All right, we got them on site. They're here. That's what we want done. We'll let the ground firm up and then we'll bring in our equipment and we'll move around as needed starting Monday. Today, Saturday. Time to go take a break. That's enough work for the day. Thanks guys. Glad you told us what to do. Got to figure it figured out. Hey, okay. All right, back at the house side. Let me show you what I got done here so far. Oh, here is my septic tank. Got a new riser, a little taller, so that way I could backfill properly. Same with this one. So in here is the poop tank, and there is probably two or 300 gallons of water in there that's come from my house from the rain because I've got that floor drain in the mechanical room, and all the water in that house went into that, plus the garage drain, and ran down all the way into here. And that's something else. I guess my plumbing works. Plus the plumber's plumbing too. It wasn't just me. But then clean out, obviously, first the screen. Here's my riser box, the concrete, or I shouldn't say riser box, the diffuser box. It's that concrete diffuser, that distributor, you want to call it, that sets the runs. And then I did a little more grade work here. I can see I got to bring a little more topsoil on this end. I guess got kind of a low spot just from checking with my visual eye, but I'll get the laser grade out here and confirming there's a high spot right here and then i got my vents for the end of my uh runs of my chambers just got them capped right now i got to cut them off to the heights i want them and then put the proper 
end on them. But for right now, they're just capped so kids don't throw rocks down them because, you know, how kids are. All right. Man, it's looking good. And trusses sitting over there. So I think in a couple days here, that is going to get a beautiful roof. And it's going to take some serious shape. And then you guys will be able to see because of match the 3D illustration you saw in the first video. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, let's get out of here. All right, guys. I'm at the house site. Sun is just about to poke over the horizon. And today's the big day. Getting a roof on the building. Let's get to it. So we just got done separating all the different trusses, put them around the house in the different spots where they probably need to be. I think I got the digger derrick right about where I want it. Put the inner and outer extension out just about all the way. We'll see if that can reach. So I'll swing this around, get it up there with one of those on there. The guys are just getting stuff lined up, figured out. So I think what the plan is, we're gonna start, here's the great room. We'll start this wall, put them across here, then go to that side put those across that way and then we can put the great room up here because those hang on the ones on the side so a bunch of girder trusses on either round all right Oof. i'm nervous i'm nervous That side is on. There's a, oh, 10 or so trusses we had to put up. Not gonna do the sunroom right now. So now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go to the great room. Again, let's see what we did yesterday. Well, so this is a girder truss. Basically what they did is they took the regular truss, made it out of two by sixes, yeah, two by sixes, maybe two by eights, sandwiched four of them together to make a structure strong enough so that way I didn't have to have a beam drop down here to support the vaulted ceiling here. Makes sense? There's a big gap right here. There's no load bearing walls under the floor down there. So you can't put the load of the vault pressing down here because there's nothing here to support it and under the floor over here there's nothing there so that's why they had to make a girder truss and that truss there will support all this weight hanging this side's got a load bearing wall that wall goes all the way down to the basement floor with footings underneath so that can take the weight makes sense makes a lot of sense these guys are something else there was a slight chance of wind today and they did not hold back the amount of boards that they screwed in on every corner and every angle 
to make sure that this doesn't come toppling down today. That yeah, was probably worth it. I don't know if I would have gone to that extreme, but I'm also not a builder and they've seen a thing or two in their time. And so there's a reason they do that. So I'm thankful. It's good to have it stay in one piece. But today we're gonna get hopefully all the vaults done in this great room and then start working our way that way with the rest of the trusses. So let's see things happen. It's gonna be fun. Enjoy the ride and uh, stick with me. I'll try not to be boring. This guy's not wearing a hard hat. Not smart guys, not smart, you know. Working on his own house, no hard hat. We're setting the trusses in his big, huge living room area, and it's big. It's nice. Actually, it's a lot wider and bigger than mine. He's just had to overdo me, you know? Like, just uh, one up. But anyways, what we're doing is we've got a couple guys on this side anchoring and adjusting that, and this guy's over here doing that. And Dad and I are over here moving trusses into the room, and then we're going to help them set it up. So anyways, there we go. Set it like this. Got that out okay. So then, what I'm gonna, you got it, Dad? Yep. I'm gonna push. So I think I'm gonna push you this way now. You ready, Nick? Yep. All right, this thing wants to move on its own. There you So this thing up there, it's a bunch of wood. It's nifty. Breezy out today, winds blowing 15, 18 miles an hour, so it's kind of tossing stuff around, but we're still getting it done. This is the last, so we got one, two more of the vaulted room for the master bedroom trusses. Then there's the end piece, which is over there, and that'll finish that up. We'll get that all on today. We'll see what else they want to do. I'm sure they'll spend the rest of the day tying up with two by fours and cross member and make sure everything's solid in case any wind picks up through tonight. And then tomorrow, I got a bunch of gaps to fill between all the vaulted roof trusses, the girder trusses. So I got to put a bunch of pieces in right here and right there to make that area flow straight across that roof line. But it's coming together, it's exciting stuff. I'm, I'm loving it. As you guys probably can see already here, this is the porch. 
So this will overhang over the porch. There'll be a big enclosed porch here with a big arch right here coming down. So it'll be a nice catch for the wind when the wind hits us right here. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking about that. It's all about the wind. We care about the wind. All right, main part of the house is done now. Sunroom. So we'll get the trusses, put them up the top of there. So right here are these guys. So these are sunroom. I'm pretty sure they're sunroom. Look about sunroom. Those look like sunroom. Yeah, those are sunroom. They say sunroom, don't they? Definitely sunroom. Garage. Those are garage. Yeah, I don't know what these babies cost. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> you should know. You ordered them. Well, I'll know soon enough. Bill's coming. These are for the bonus room that goes above the garage. Do we need a bonus room? Not at the moment. Um, but you always wonder your, every time you climb in the attic and go, man, look at all this space up here. Oh, if only we could have just framed this in and utilized it for an extra room for some reason. We all think it. I think it. I know you guys think it. Everyone's gone in the garage and looked at there. I know. There's a lot of a cost that goes into making it happen. A lot of insulation, a lot of wiring, a lot of sheetrock, lighting, all kinds of stuff. But you engineer it to have it, and it does cost a little more. You got one chance to do it. You can always finish it out and turn it into a room if you decide you want to. So, plus we're going to have 14 kids. Well, we've encountered our first problem. Those are not vaulted trusses. Those are the sunroom trusses, and I was just sitting there looking at it, and I'm like, huh, that doesn't look vaulted to me. They are not. But they were engineered to be vaulted, and we sent the request to the truss manufacturer to vault them, so somehow they got messed up and sent us the wrong ones. They're the right length. They, cut, they built them for us, but... So we're, we're, we're wondering now, can we modify these to vault them, or... Are they going to be able to build us new ones in time? Because that's the problem, is time. They're swamped. And all these builders are slammed. And are they going to be able to get us trusses like this week? I, highly unlikely. And it's going to rain. So we're already talking about ways of possibly using either 2x4s, 2x6s, and OSB and rebuilding these into a vaulted truss system. But I don't know yet. i got to find out first from the truss company if they'll take care of it for me. Either way, I'm getting a discount because I'm not buying this. <laughs> Here, how do we lock this thing? There we go, lock the wheel. What does it need to come out a little bit? Okay, ready? First few sheets are going on, check it out. Isn't that awesome? So they're gonna put these on first, and then they've got a bunch of trusses that have gotta go across to match the roof line of the vault with this side over here. So they're working on that. That grade all is awesome. It's making this job a lot easier and safer, lifting everything up to there, instead of having to manhandle it up, so pretty cool. We're getting the roofing on. There's a storm rolling in. Doesn't look like it's gonna be anything too crazy, but it's probably gonna shut us down here soon. So they're working hard, try to get some roofing up on that side, balance the roof out so that way if the wind picks up, 
there's not like, you know, an umbrella on one side and open on the other. So they'll get that side mostly sheeted by the time that thing hits us and then we'll see what happens after that. Here she comes. One of the coolest things about this location is I can actually see where the rain is coming down at. Before, at our house side over there with the windbreak, and then the fact that we're down in a little bit of a valley there, you have no idea. You see the streaks in the skies, but you don't know where it's coming out, but I can see exactly. It's hitting the prison over there. It's hitting over here by just on the edge of the airport. Hit some neighbors I know over there. And it's all across Shelby. I can see the roads are wet. That is going to be fun for the next, well, hopefully a lot of years we'll be able to watch that. Oh. Alright, I better get inside. This is Maverick. He's my little man, Archie Mav. An American Brittany, and he's about eight months old. Yeah, and you want to be a bird dog, don't you? He has got bird dodging eggs. Really strong as in his bones, but I don't think we're gonna do a whole lot of bird hunt with him. Maybe a little bit. He's a good dog dog, really good dog. that the daylight's gone took them a while they finally got that roof line figured out they made the trusses for it but just some things just weren't lining up quite right so they had to modify quite a bit of little little things here and there but they got it done and they're sheeting the whole thing across now so hopefully at the end of the day it's gonna be one sheet osb across the whole front and back all right well due to the lead time what it would take to get the right trusses for the sunroom. We're just gonna go ahead and make them. So they gave us the engineering specs on what we need to do with some OSB and glue. And we're gonna cut those apart and turn them into vaulted trusses. So I'm gonna give Roger a hand here. Let's we'll see if he these knocked out today and get them hung. That'd be amazing. with me say hi <laughs> um, we are at the house and I get to come every afternoon and um, it's so fun to see all the progress that's been made they're working on the roof right now you can kind of see that it's almost done um, and they're still working on it but it's really exciting to see things like the vault um, because it's like you always picture like yeah we'll have like a higher ceiling but then like you don't actually get to see it until it's like oh wow there it is oh, hey, don't get upset don't get upset um, and then like same thing with um, the porch over here that's really cool to see because you're like yeah we'll have a porch over here and then you're like oh there it is that's what it's gonna look like that's how big it's gonna be and it's like pretty big so um we are just so excited to see everything uh, coming together and um, the weather is still holding out which is really nice because we're trying to just get everything weather tight before the snow comes so it's really great to have that roof on and then there's Nick over there with the crane and there's the back of the house and it looks so good so every day I just get to come through and do my little walk through and my little thumbs up so see you guys well that looks sweet oh man <laughs> yeah 
This is gonna be awesome. Morning coffee. Well, maybe not for me, but morning coffee in the sunroom, checking out that. Beautiful. All right, well, it's the weekend. Guys are gonna be done till Monday, and they're talking rain the next couple days. So I'll button up, put tools away, and call it good. Sweet. Sunroom is almost done. All right, let's get to it. Down in my mechanical room, you can see my drains are working. Floor drain and, well, that's the drain for the high efficiency stuff, which it turns out I, I probably didn't need two of these, but double the drain. I'm gonna take this plywood here, three quarter plywood, and I'm gonna start laying against my mechanical wall here so I can get this set up, start hanging all the stuff on there, like my instant hot water, the boiler for the floor, all kinds of goodies. So let's lay it on there. And got my trusty Milwaukee. Let's see here. What do we got for battery? Good. Let's get to work. 